An honest Pokemon Infinite Fusion review. First, what is Pokemon Infinite Fusion? Well, it's a fan-made game that allows you to fuse two Pokemon together. Some have unique sprites, some don't. Due to it being a fan game, it is an amazing game, but it's not perfect, nowhere near it. First, major thing you'll notice is that it's the Gen 1 map and Johto for the post game content. Everything is pretty much the same in the two games except that Mokuno in the ending. At the Johto, which is post-game content after you beat the Elite Four, all it unlocks is Mount Moon, which unlocks the true ending to the game, which you have to do if you want the shiny, any increased shiny chance. Next, there is currently 420 Pokemon in the game, more to be added soon, and they have all the main popular ones, Gen 1 through 3, and some odd ones like Stunfisk, mainly up to Gen 6. They have a lot of cool ones already, and I can't wait to see what they will add. One other thing is that the game has a pretty good replayability. It has built-in randomizer and a couple other unique things you can do with the new game plus. One important part of the game is that you combine two Pokemon together. It will be appear like a screen like this, green meaning it's a custom fusion, gray meaning it's AI generated. But, just because it's green does not mean it's good. Not all custom fusions are made equally, and non appearance wise, stats wise, or attacking wise. And it feels like the only way to find cool ones is by spending hours checking all of them, or by going to fusiondex.com, or YouTube videos, with the YouTube shorts, but it feels like most of them are just lying and use custom sprites that aren't even in the game. They also have a lot of dumb mechanics, like flash still being needed to be used in some areas of the game pretty much, the self code puzzle still being in the game which is so annoying still, Sage's puzzle, and roaming legendaries which all encounters end up just going like this. And now they are across the map and you have to run over there just for another encounter. One main issue I have is that there's not much post-game content besides legendaries and unlocking triple fusions and getting the shiny charm. Overall, I think the game is pretty good and it could use a lot more custom sprites and Pokemon, but I know they're already working on that. And maybe if they add a whole another area to the game, it could a lot more fun. I would overall give the game a 9 out of 11. Would recommend you play if you are a Pokemon fan.